So what do we have going on this month in New Jersey supermarkets? Hey there, NJ, Route22.com here with another supermarket retail chat. Um, and uh, we just pick a few things each month uh, what we want to, you know, about what we want to talk about. Uh, in this particular, it's January 2020. I hope everybody's having a good new year like it's any different. It's just like a new week, a new day, whatever. I'm a little bit cynical about these uh, dates and numerology and all that. It's just a new day. You know, every minute is new. I don't know. Anyway. Um, here's what we're going to talk about this month. I noticed that uh, ShopRite, uh, they had a sign up on their butter. Hey, we're not selling Kerrygold butter anymore. Kerrygold, uh, we apologize for the inconvenience. Really, they don't apologize for the freaking influx of plant-based butters. I don't know. I, I, I don't know why they have to apologize for that and don't apologize for the things that pushed the butter that was good out. Um, in this case, though, uh, another butter was also pushed out, Kate's Butter of Maine, which was our favorite butter because it was the only butter that had sea salt instead of processed table salt as the ingredient. But whatever. Uh, they did, the good news is they did bring in a, uh, another good butter. It's not the best, but it's called Vermont Creamery Butter, and the salted version does have sea salt. Um, but it's really just not quite as creamy. I don't know, it's more of a, uh, they do have this English butter though. You gotta look out for it. If you find a roll of English butter, it's about twice as expensive. I think it's only $2.80 for a four ounce roll as opposed to $2.80 something cents for an eight ounce pack of two four ounce sticks. But the four ounce st uh, stick of or log of uh, English style butter, it has crunchy sea, uh, salt pieces in it and it's beyond awesome. You could eat it as a snack. It's great. Uh, but that's it. You know, the plant-based butters are killing real butter. It's just going to be, everything's going to be fake and, and synthetic uh, probably in, in the next decade or so. Look out. Anyway, next, uh, I wanted to make a little correction here. I was griping. I was going to say B-I-T-C-H-I-N-G, but I don't know. I'll probably get flagged. Anyway, um, we were, we were complaining that uh, the supermarkets didn't have low carb sections. And lo and behold, I look up at, on the sign at, uh, at ShopRite and it said low carb foods. So I'm like, oh great, let's look down the sign. It was nothing but snacks. And then I'm like, wait a minute. I guess the, low carb, the only low carb foods they had was beef jerky, uh, which isn't really low carb to, be, to begin with. I think um, an entire pack of beef jerky can sometimes have upwards of 30 grams of carbs. And M many times um, MSG as well, but I, I just don't understand um, what that was all about. Maybe one day I'll ask the manager, <laughs> let's speak to the manager uh, about that, but uh, I'll just keep my eyes open and let you know if something changes. I'm going to have some low carb alcohol now. I shouldn't be drinking tonight. Liver problems. Anyway, um, this is a sort of a gray area for us, but we found another uh, low carb. I, I'm, I don't know how long these things have been around, but Russell Stover has sugar-free chocolates now. And they're very low on the, uh, the, the net carb uh, index, I think one or two grams of carbs. And they have erythritol, but they also have a malitol, which is a, uh, if you eat too much of it, you will be sitting on the toilet. Uh, quite uh, quickly and uh, you might even just go on the side of the road because I think it if you eat too much of it like like I bought a, a bar I guess it had uh, eight squares in it I think if you eat more than two squares I bought the almond one um, two squares I think you're going to get some sort of diet digestive emergency so be careful with malitol if it was just erythritol but I, I, I don't know Again, we warn against eating anything sweet. I had to try it. I was guilty. I, I, it's, it's one of those things. Sweets has an incredible uh, power over you. So just watch out. But it, it does not affect your blood sugar. So there you go. Next, it's a product I found or discovered. I didn't buy it. I'm not going to buy it. It's called Soylent. Soylent. And I don't know if anybody's ever watched this old movie. I forget. It was a, a famous... Uh, 
famous actor in it. You can look it up. But Soylent Green was this movie, this uh, dystopian future movie, I think from the 70s. Um, I watched it. And it the, everybody was eating this one food. They had one food for the whole world, one Soylent Green. And um, it turned out at the end of the movie that, uh, spoiler alert, um, that they were drinking humans. It was disgusting. But there's this drink that, uh, that plays on that. I don't know if they're doing the same thing. This is creepy as heck. Um, Soylent uh, meal in a bottle type crap. And they're claiming it's low GI. It's not. It's 36 grams of carbs. I don't care what they call it. That's sh crap is going to raise your, your blood sugar enough and knock you out of ketosis. And I believe looking at the ingredient label, they have a bunch of artificial crap in there they could sneak in, including MSG. And I looked on the uh, reviews and everybody was saying, oh, it's so great, it's so great, it's so great. I think they're mindlessly saying it's so great because there's addictive ingredients in there. Just like that stupid Beyond Meat. But anyway, I, I highly recommend you don't buy any liquid uh, meal replacement. Eat frickin' meat. Anyway, uh, the last thing is another plant-based product I noticed. It's called Roots, Roots Ice Cream. It's plant-based. I mean, it's supposed to be cream from a cow. I, I don't get it. Um, but, uh, you know, they, this is another one of those things. They have all these feel-good labels, uh, plant-based, uh, gluten-free, da 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 And uh, they say it's uh, also diabetic-friendly. But I looked at it. It was like 36 grams of carbs and 24 grams were sugar alcohols, which is xylitol, erythritol, and God knows what else. So, and that's extremely high, by the way. Some of these other uh, low-carb, cream-based, high-fat um, ice creams were much lower in sugar alcohols, uh, maybe 10 grams of sugar alcohols, which uh, the jury's still out on whether those things can affect you negatively. We'll find out in 10 years. That's usually the, the time when they say, oh my God, you've been eating the bad foods for 10 years. But, um, and they say high protein on this stupid uh, plant-based food. It's only three grams of protein. What the heck is that? That's not high protein. Maybe for a, like a mouse or something like that. But again, I think plant-based foods, they, everybody thinks eating plants is so great, but this is like super highly processed plants and in a lab through a chemical process and it's, it's not a plant. It's not a plant. If you smush up broccoli and mix it with uh, something, it's not, it's not going to taste like ice cream. It's going to taste like broccoli. So they obviously mess around with it in a, in a, in a subatomic way practically. So I, I really think if you're smart you would avoid anything that is touted as plant-based and good for you. It's not good for you, I promise you. Look around, everybody's getting bigger and unhealthier. Uh, that's it. Please subscribe, please hit the like. I need subscribers. I, I think I'm doing a great job here. I tell the truth and have, I'll see you next, next video, all right? Bye.